Hey guys, thanks for joining me. I'm Matt with Speedhouse. Uh, today I'm going to discuss some pros and cons and similarities between coilovers versus air ride suspension. Right here with me I have a set of KWs and a set of airlift performance struts for a FADM3. Alright, so I'm going to show some similarities between the two products. Give kind of some pros and cons, my own opinion on each of them and let you guys decide what you would like to use. Comparing coilover to airlift strut, you have your adjustable collar for all of your height. You have, on each of them, you have dampening, which on the airlift strut can be done here. A lot of people, you know, go back and forth between harshness and softness on where they want. These are 32-way adjustable on the dampening, so they act like a coilover but just with the added bonus of air from a stock car to either one of these platforms. If you just wanted something that you slam on, get a better improvement, less body roll, um, just kind of set it and forget it, then your coilover is the way to go. If you wanted, in my opinion, the best of both worlds where you can have both a lowered look and raise it, let's just say you have a front lip, you need to dodge a speed bump, um, you can raise it up with the air ride set it out on the ground if you go to a show make it look great and then you have all of these features plus the ability to adjust it up and down on the fly so this is very opinionated in my opinion yes they are um, the adjustable dampening on the on the top side helps a lot you can dial it in between soft and harsh they're 32 way adjustable and then um, having them up and down based off your pressure settings determines a lot of the ride quality as well. Uh, so for example, my car rides, uh, rides tremendously better on air versus just on coilovers. Coilovers are extremely bouncy. So is one more reliable than the other? Because I always hear people say like they popped a bag. If you pop a bag, then high chances are it's installed wrong. Like personally, I've been daily driving on air ride for well over 10 years. I've never blown a bag. Um, the worst thing that I ever had happen to me is this collar came loose and it allowed this top section to spin. And being that my wheels are so wide, they cut through my leader hose. Uh, but I was in a parking lot when it happened and quick, easy fix, got fortunate there. But other than that, Never had a single issue, not a blown bag, nothing. So is there anything that coils can do that bags can't? In my opinion, no. Um, with the technology and everything that it's advanced over the years, when it comes to the struts, they are basically designed the exact same way, except for you're replacing a metal spring with an air spring. Um, Airlift put out a video to where they took the same three cars and they did a like time attack style event. They did coilovers on one, pull it back in the pits, swap them out, put air springs on it, run the same lap, run faster lap times. What's the price difference? You're gonna spend more um, on the air ride because you have a couple of added extra things like you have your tank and your compressors and then it's a bit more labor to put them on. Um, Let's just say, for argument's sake, this set of coilovers is 3K, no labor. All your air ride parts put together, you're probably around four to 4,500, depending on what type of compressors you choose, what type of tank you choose, there are some variables there. So they're a little bit more. So which one's better? It's all based on opinion. Budget-wise, what you're wanting to do with the car, what your overall goals are. From a personal standpoint, I'm gonna choose air every time. It gives me the best of both worlds. I attend a lot of shows, go to local events and things of that nature, so I'd like to be able to air the car out. It gets lots of attention that way. And then when I leave, I just pop in it, hit the button, air it up, away I go. A lot of questions we get are, you know, are they as reliable as coilovers? Can they be driven on the track? Um, can you daily drive on them, et cetera, et cetera. The answer is yes. A lot of it is into how it's installed. It's also um, just with, as technology has advanced over the years, I've been doing this for, man, like 15 years. Uh, when I started out, it was not near what we have today. 
these are available that have just, they've advanced tenfold in technology. Thank you.